Hello and welcome back. Um, first thing I'd like to say is, if you're a subscriber, uh, honestly, I'm absolutely flattered. Uh, thanks very much. It means the world. You know, some absolute dullard down his shed making some uh, craptacular half tools. Um, yeah, who would have thought it? So what we're going to do today is ruin, I mean, use some brass bar, uh, an off cut of walnut and an off cut of... Um, I think it's beech or ash, one of the two. Um, and we're going to make a, a little uh, hammer, basically. I'm going to make one for myself and I'll make one to give away later on down the line, I think. We'll see how the first one goes. So, yeah. Again, I've got this from a friend who can't be named because uh, I wouldn't want to get him in trouble. This is from a guy called Phil Smith and this I managed to acquire. So how I'm thinking I'm going to attack this is um, cut off a portion of this, clean it up, um, square it up, file in a very small flat spot just to get enough for a drill to take so it's not skating off uh, and then drill a, drill a hole, well two holes that then make a sort of oval shape with flat sides, not a continuous arc. Um, and then we'll cut the handle out of walnut and fit it from there. Built-in excuse of why you can't uh, hammer things in straight once you've made it. Initiated. So all I've done is get some uh, masking tape and kept it fairly square as I've wrapped it round. And uh, if you're miles off, the, the uh, tape won't line up. You need to use like a paper one, basically, so it's got no stretch. Um, and then that's giving you a line to file down to. Obviously, if you had a surface plate and a height gauge, you could just plonk it on the surface plate and then bring your height gauge in, turn it, and that would describe a line all the way around. Obviously, if you've got that, you know how to operate it. Or if we had a lathe, just like bring it up to speed and just whip, whip, and it'd be nice and square. Uh, that's the official lathe noise as well, by the way. Ugh. I know, shock on this channel, a bit of hand filing. I swear to God, as soon as we get some decent tools, it won't be the all hand filing all the time channel. Just trying to bring it down to that line now. Which obviously I've taken eternity. I'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, Dave, that didn't take as long as I thought. <clears throat> So uh, what I did was just rip out the bulk of it with a file that I can't find. <coughs> oh, there it is. There she is. This absolute beauty, uh, donated by my dad. I don't know if he knows he donated it, but well, I've got it else in a matter, does it? It's made in England, which probably means it will break in a little bit. <clears throat> then uh, I just come in with like a crosscut file. These are ch just cheap uh, McAllister things. I think they're probably from B and Q or something. And then once that's in, I switch to a little hand file <clears throat> to take the the larger file marks out. And then I've got an almost blunt file. And um, Mm, on yeah, device on vices. You can see, well, yeah, you can see from the shine that it's not too bad, and that's on a file. And obviously, I'm going to then use different grits of paper to bring it down. But yeah, we're doing all right. Next, it's this end. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Commence the filing. <laughs>
I'll bring it back in a bit because this is T. Commence the filing. <laughs> I'll bring it back in a bit because this is T. Commence the filing. I'll bring it back in a bit. Okay, so that ends in. Uh, now, next thing I'll do measure that half it and then work out where we're going to do some drilling file a flat mark it all out one thing i will say if you if you are going to make this at home you can tell when you've got it nice and square because the ed the edges there's, there's not a burr there but it's really unpleasant to like the edge is sharp um yeah and then it when it's flat as well what you tend to find is the file wants to like Jiggle about, it doesn't take a proper decent cut. So yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, we're not gonna bring the faces in just yet. We'll mark it all out and then drill it and stuff. So this thing measures uh, a touch over 72 mil. So what's that? 36 to half. half of that. <clears throat> yeah. I've just blued it up as well, makes it a little bit easier for, for everything. Cool. Um. Just scribe the line that. One thing I forgot to, to do is actually measure how wide this bit of bar is. It's probably like 750mm long by 25, probably, yeah, inch. So that's the mark out. I've gone for uh, 12 and a half, uh, 12 mil wide. And then 10 and a 10 mil either side of that. So a 20 by 12 mil opening. Um, and I think that'll give a nice little handle for this. <clears throat> so next thing to do is file a flat in here. And Bosch. Probably go in with like a nine and a half mil uh, drill bit. Just to open up either end and then just file it flat. Just going to drill a pirate hole and then uh, go in with the proper size. Well, here we go. Let's cut out a bit of wood for the handle. Uh, bets on it being squ you know, square and straight. Keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> Sweet.
Okie doke. So that's uh, after 80 grit. Oh, missed a bit. That's after 80 grit. Uh, and then we'll... I'll just do some more now. This has got to be glued. Um, it's a lot looser than I thought. So I sort of showed you that bit there. So we'll glue that and then, yeah, work back up through the papers. Obviously, if, uh, if you're in need of a hole that's not square, plum, or uh, where you're marked out, <clears throat> let us know, because uh, I'm the man who can. So uh, just opening up these holes now to make it, you know, like a running track oval sort of shape. Uh, and then we'll cut a little wedge. I I'd probably use an off, off cut of brass from that uh, infill block plane. Put, yeah, make a little wedge out of that. Bloop. That'll go in there. Drive the wedge in. Everything should be good. Let's get some hand filing done. Shock. I'll bring you back in a bit because this bores me as well. There we go. Moment of truth. Admittedly, the split doesn't look overly great. However, uh, once I cut it off, we'll put a bit of epoxy in there and it'll firm everything right up. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Bit of a chunky design, 